Today I'm going to be reviewing this Tetra Tower game. And this is a game that's going to be a lot of fun to play. They do recommend it for ages 5 and up. Personally, I would pr probably recommend it a little bit older than that, just because the older the person is that's playing it, the easier they're going to be able to follow along during the gameplay of it. And the goal of it is essentially to get it on, get these blocks put onto this little thing without it falling off. So older kids are going to have a little bit more stability. They're going to be able to put the different pieces, that sort of thing. So let me open this up, show you exactly what you're going to get inside. So we'll just be taped here across the top. I'm just going to take it out. And this is everything you're going to get in regards to contents. You're going to get a bunch of these little blocks. And you're going to get the base for this as well. Again, you're just going to be setting this. I think it goes like this on there. And then, of course, you will need to make sure that you put it onto something that is going to be halfway stable. So I'll put that here on the table here in a minute. And then it's going to come with some cards as well. So let me go ahead and get all this open. Get it set up to show you exactly how you play this game. So the game itself looks really cool. There's no instructions though. So there is some basic things on the side. So in essentially showing you put it on the pedestal, but the uh, words that they use here um, is not, doesn't really clarify. So essentially you're gonna load the blocks on the unsteady pedestal. So obviously you're gonna put them on top of here and then using a card makes it ever more thrilling game is exactly what it says on here. So I assume you can choose to either use the cards or not, but there's not really any instructions that are going to, you're going to uh, come with this game. So what we're gonna do is like here is I'm just gonna kind of set it up here on this pedestal. And how it works is if you're just doing the, the regular one, then you could you just go ahead, let me get it a little bit closer here. So you could just go ahead and set them one at a time. So you could just take turns, you know, using any shapes you wanted. And you wanna make sure that it doesn't uh, doesn't entirely fall over. So maybe you want to go like that or something like that. I believe it does have to actively fit into there. So you're not going to want to like put it there because that obviously doesn't fit, I don't believe. But again, there's no instructions. So it's really just, you know, whatever rules you and your family set. But I'm going to go with probably it needs to actually be sitting on the ledge for it to count. And then you're just going to take turns and then obviously the one who, who has it all fall off. So for example, if you do it like that, um, it is it is a little bit harder for it to fall off or teeter off than you would expect. But there you go, and it fell off the top of the pedestal. So you can play it just doing it that, or then you come. it also comes with these cards here. So these cards are all going to tell you to use specific shapes. So put the shape of the block on the stage. So say, for example, you're not just playing freehand. You're just doing going through and mixing up, and it's all going to be put the shape on, reverse the order in which to play, draw two more cards, so you're gonna to have to then pl probably play two different blocks on your turn, take away a block on the stage rather than putting one on, and then putting this block, again, draw two cards, take away a block, putting the block. So there are gonna be some different variations and then reverse. So they're kind of like action cards to just to kind of make the game a little bit more fun to play. Again, they recommend this for ages five and up. I, I would probably say it's gonna be for kids who are gonna be a little bit older, just because they're gonna be able to figure out the stacking a little bit better, figure out the balancing portion of it. So for example, like putting things down inside of there, that's gonna be more difficult for a child who is five to do than it would be for a child who's maybe six, seven, eight, something along there. But overall, definitely a pretty fun game. Just the one downside is that there's not really any instructions that come with it.